Yeah. Um, just to repeat to the Minister uh, that uh, as we go to the European Council, the question of ensuring that a safe and effective vaccine is available to everybody in the world is critical to the effectiveness of the vaccine anywhere in the world, including in this country. And people need to get that into their head. And European leaders need to get that into their head. And we do not need a repeat of what we had, the disgraceful situation with AIDS, retroviral drugs, where poorer countries were pleading to have access to the technology to produce generic and cheap versions for distribution, but big pharma companies didn't want to do that because it would cut into their profits. Okay? That must not happen. So I repeat the call I made to the Taoiseach earlier on. We need the waiving of intellectual property rights and patent rights on vaccines so they are available to everybody. And if you want to get over the scepticism, misplaced scepticism, although it's understandable, uh, how would you say, suspicion of some of the pharma companies, not of vaccines, all data must be published. Honesty, open seat, openness and transparency is the best way to encourage people to take the vaccine, and I will be first in the queue, Minister. Okay? But that, it's very important if you're going to overcome uh, scepticism and a very strong public health campaign explaining how smallpox uh, and polio and so on uh, were uh, eliminated as a result of vaccines. Uh, so I really want to underline that in the strongest terms. Uh, I want to raise some particular issues for the European Council. Uh, we often hear a narrative that you know, democratic reform is coming in Saudi, there was much uh, trumpeting of how they decided to let women apply for uh, driving licenses. Uh, what's said uh, less is that the women who campaigned, the activists who campaigned for women's rights in Saudi were subsequently imprisoned, almost certainly tortured, denied access to their family, uh, and in the case of Lujain al Hatul, on the 25th of November uh, uh, last month, was moved to the terrorist court in Saudi Arabia. Uh, this is a court which Amnesty International says is essentially a tool for suppression of political uh, uh, dissent, uh, which, uh, where you get tried for crimes like disobeying the ruler, uh, and you get uh, heavy prison sentences, uh, and uh, in some cases the death sentence. Uh, that's what's going on. Uh, she, along with her, we have uh, Samar Badawi, Nuf Abdul Aziz, Nasima Al Sada. Okay, uh, 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 Lujain, when she was brought into the court, was weak, shaking, uh, uncontrollably. Her voice uh, was faint and shaky. Uh, she was in prison for 21 to 22 years, but now has been moved to this terrorist uh, court. In October. Eight youths, five of them minors, uh, were uh, brought to court, uh, and the uh, prosecutor, the Saudi prosecutor, is looking for the death sentence against minors for participating in demonstrations. This is despite the fact that Saudi is saying publicly that they were no longer going to look for the death sentence for young people. I mean, looking for, it any, for anybody is obscene, uh, but for youths participating in demonstrations. Now, just remember. This is the regime, whatever they tell you, this is the regime who murdered Khashoggi in their embassy in Turkey. And this stuff is still going on. Now, when is the European Union going to speak about this? Instead of mouthing nonsense narratives that Saudi is embracing democratic reform. This is what's going on as we speak, and something needs to be done uh, about it. Let me also uh, mention a message that might be of interest uh, to the Healy Rays. A woman from Kerry. Uh, wrote to us, a woman from Kerry wrote to us, whose husband uh, is from Ethiopia and uh, was trying to get teaching council status. But because he didn't have the right papers from Ethiopia, he returned to Tigray, uh, where he is from uh, in Ethiopia, and is now trapped there because at the beginning of this month, the Ethiopian government began a vicious bombing campaign of Tigray. Uh, which has completely uh, uh, blocked everybody off, people subject to uh, indiscriminate bombing. Uh, it's, going to, it, it's potentially going to turn into an absolute humanitarian disaster. This is, by the way, being headed up, this bombing campaign being headed up by the Ethiopian Prime Minister, who last year got the Nobel Peace Prize. Just think about that. Now, the European uh, Union, our government, needs to call this stuff out immediately, must demand to stop the, uh, that bombing campaign. 
uh, and a safe return of people like uh, Kathleen's husband uh, to Kerry, uh, but more generally to all the innocent people who are being subject to this vicious campaign. And I would ask uh, the Minister uh, and those attending the EU Council uh, to raise these issues as a matter of Thank priority. Thank you very much.